see every day. Somebody actually reading the map book. Yeah, it's not a cell phone. I know, right? <laughs> or a GPS for that matter. It's my Harley Atlas. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. How's the uh, military treating you? How long you been in it? 21. 21 years? Thanks for supporting. No, thank you. Thank you. I don't feel like taking the uniform off yet. You'd say not yet, huh? to get something to eat. It's time to get something to eat. Hey, yo, what's up, lockout men? Here at the TA. And I'm about to go up in here and get something to eat. About to welcome you guys to another reaction video. What's good, what's good? So check it out. This morning, I got up at about two in the morning because I wanted to get an early start because I got this load that's going down to uh, PA, or I take that back, it's going up to PA. So I said to myself, yo, lockout, let me go ahead and get up in the morning so I can get this early start. Cause I ain't want to drive through all this traffic and all like that. So got up this morning, showered, got fresh for the day. You see what I'm saying? Fresh for the day. I'll go ahead and um, get my my trust scale because the load that I got is a little bit heavy. That's a hefty fine and I'm not willing to pay that. Not willing to pay that at all. I'm on the road, I'm riding, I'm riding and then I happened to feel around and I was like, wait a minute, I don't feel my wallet. I said, hold up, hold up, wait, wait. I gotta see if I got my wallet. So I'm scanning, I'm looking, I'm on the floor on my hands and knees. I even called, I even called love out my wallet. So I'm riding, I'm driving, I'm driving. And then all of a sudden I started saying to myself like, hey, I, I need to post up so I can grab something to eat. And lo and behold, I found the TA that got an eye hop in it. That was my morning. Let's jump into this reaction video. And this video comes from Ohio. Now imagine, you're a cop, you're a black cop, you're, you're, you're a sheriff. You go into a government building in your sheriff uniform. You know, you, you geared up, head to toe, badge, gun, taser, all that good stuff. You walk into the IRS, you get confronted by a white security guard that first tells you that you have to leave your gun in your car. And you tell old boy like, yo, bruh, man, I'm, I'm on duty. I'm not gonna leave my gun in the car. I'm not gonna do that. What I'm looking like gonna leave my gun in the car and I'm on duty. I mean, dude, you can see that I'm in, I'm, I'm in full gear. As you turn around and get ready to walk out the door, here's this white security guard with his gun out following you, a sheriff, black sheriff, out the door. You go to the elevator, you get ready, you, you stand to yourself like, yo, I'll, let me go in here and go. I don't want to make this no issue. You go to the elevator and the white security guard standing there with his gun drawn on you. What would you do? Let's check out the video. Well, some scary moments caught on tape. A Lucas County Sheriff's deputy in uniform has a gun pulled on him by a security guard. And now that security guard faces criminal charges as the deputy tries to wrap his head around almost being killed in what should have been a very basic situation. I-Team reporter Sean Haggerty with the video you'll only see on 13 ABC. Sean. Yeah, that deputy came here to Fort Seagate to ask a question at the IRS office, a step that almost cost him his life. As Lucas County Sheriff's Deputy Alan Gaston enters the IRS office, he's in full uniform with his badge and his firearm visible. 
He's on duty May 31st, but says he stopped at the office for a phone number to ask about a letter he got from the IRS. Deputy Gaston says the guard told him he needed to put his gun in his car. Gaston said he couldn't do that. The conversation ends with a gun pointed at the deputy's back. You guys see this right here? I mean, the security guard is like on some bold stuff right now. How are you going to how are you going to pull a gun out on another officer? Officer of the law. Like, dude, like what's going through your mind right now, bro? Gaston vividly remembers that moment. Basically preparing myself to be shot at that moment, uh, bracing for a shot in my back. The whole thing caught on security camera as the guard follows Deputy Gaston to the elevator with the gun out, and it appears his finger very close to the trigger. The guard then tries to take Gaston into custody. Right now, I'm, I'm on the side of the sheriff right now because he's walking out trying to de-escalate the situation. But the guard is on some other stuff right now, man. Like, how the hell are you going to try to arrest the dude? Arrest the dude for what? I mean, you ask him to take his gun and, and put it in the car or he had to leave his gun in the car. He say he can't do that. So he decides to just bump it. I'll come back another day. You know, I'm cool. Let's, you know. And you're going to follow me out with your gun drawn on me. Like, dude. Really? And then you're going to try to arrest him. Arrest him for what? Once again, with the gun drawn. There's really no uh, way to it. know how you're going to act when there's a gun pointed at you and when you think you're going to lose your life. Gaston works as a defensive tactics instructor. He says he felt the best way to de-escalate this situation was to walk away. Eventually, Toledo police arrived after getting a 911 call. He's got a gun and he won't leave. But the caller from inside the IRS office never tells 911 the man with the gun is a uniformed deputy sheriff. Gaston's biggest concern as this incident unfolded were the other people inside the office. If I'm going to get shot, which I felt like I was, it's not fair. They, they came there to do their business. Gaston and his wife have now filed a civil lawsuit against the security guard Seth Eklund and the security company seeking compensation after Gaston allegedly suffered emotional and psychological distress and lost wages. He's currently on medical leave from the Lucas County Sheriff's Department. He has a message for that security guard. I would say clearly your training is lacking and the fact that you went from zero to a hundred lethal force is unacceptable. That security guard, Seth Eklund, is now facing a charge of aggravated menacing. He's due in court next week. We tried to reach out to him today, but could not contact him. We also reached out to the IRS for a comment today, but we've not yet heard back, Lee and Diane. So what do you guys think, man? What do you guys think? At this point right here, doing the 911 call, you know, when people make 911 calls, they they really don't, some of them don't know what the hell they be saying when they be making 911 calls. They call in 911 saying there's a guy with a gun and he won't leave. Well, they fail to say that the guy with the gun is a deputy sheriff in full uniform and he was leaving. The security guard was was stopping him, impeding him from leaving. The sheriff was leaving. So now you got two other officers on the way there in in ready form, not knowing that they about to face another sheriff, another officer of the law that's in uniform. So I bet you these two right here is thinking like, what the hell is going on right here? And the guard really, the guard really don't have nothing to say at this point because the officer, the, the deputy was leaving, man. Now, maybe that's a little bit extreme, you know, emotional distress and 
yada, yada, yada. But that's lawyer talk right there. I mean, I, I would probably say the same thing. The dude, I got nightmares. See? I fucks with IHOP. You feel me? I mean, I like, like, other restaurants, but shit. IHOP right there, right there. Y'all see it? IHOP is the shit. I fucks with IHOP. You feel me? So, what do you guys think, man? What do you, I mean, what do you guys think? Really? I'm still trying to wrap this around my head. Now, I know there's been a lot of issues with, with civilians and cops. You know what I'm saying? But this is the first that I've seen that a, a, a security guard, okay? You a security guard. In other words, you a wannabe cop. You feel me? You're a wannabe. But you had... Dude, you gonna pull your gun? Your, you gonna pull your gun on a cop, a a a a, a, a sheriff? You gonna pull your gun on the sheriff because he didn't want to put hit, leave his gun in in the car? The dude's on duty. Who, who have you ever heard of an on duty cop leaving their weapons other than the shotgun in the car? Who does that? Just tell me. What do you guys think of the video? Yo, I want you guys to react to me and let me know what y'all feel. Y'all know what y'all gotta do. Y'all gotta hit it in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Do you think the, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you think the security guard was in the right? And if so, what was the purpose of him bringing, I mean, bringing his gun out on the sheriff anyway? I mean, the sheriff really wanted this to go in there and just ask, you know, talk to the IRS. I mean, not all of us want to talk to the IRS. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't think he was going to go in to the IRS and have a gun pulled out on him. I don't know. I don't know. But what you guys think? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want more videos like this and like that, yo, subscribe to the channel. You feel me? Y'all got to hit that subscribe button which is which is right there or down there or somewhere on the screen and then make sure you hit that bell because if you don't hit that bell you ain't going to never get notified even though i'm not sure if y'all getting notified anyway if you do hit the bell and also don't forget the lights you see what i'm saying you gotta interact with me <laughs> you feel me this is lockout man and i'm I appreciate all you guys watching. And I'll come back at you with another reaction video. All right. I'm signing off. I'm somewhere in Tennessee. I had the slightest idea where I'm at. But I know I'm at this TA with the IHOP. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Gaston said he couldn't do that. The conversation ends with a gun pointed at the deputy's back. Gaston vividly remembers that moment.